music videos to me it's the best aspects of filmmaking in a really small package it's really creative it, you can make it narrative driven you can make it basically whatever you want So my name is Josh Davis. I'm a filmmaker and I run a small production company called Vision Air Media. We mostly shoot branded content and music videos. It takes many people years of searching to find their true occupational calling. For Josh Davis, he found his filmmaking passion at a very early age. That's like the longest memory I have of wanting to do something passionately was definitely filmmaking. Like when I was a kid, my cousins would come over and show me the video camera and how to do little tricks, editing and whatnot. And it just like amazed me. And I've just always had this like really strong interest for it all through primary school and high school. And I just knew that that's what I wanted to do coming out the back of high school. And, and it's turned out pretty good for me. When it's like a passion thing and, and you just had this real kind of genuine interest in it, you just like, do whatever you can and use whatever's available to you to muck around with it and have a bit of fun. I really had this idea in my head of doing it all under my own kind of umbrella and business and I initially kind of just worked with some people for experience and getting an idea of how to run a set and this, that and the other and then eventually just thought, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. Music videos, to me, it's the best aspects of filmmaking in a really small package. It's really creative. It, you can make it narrative driven. You can make it basically whatever you want. Yeah. So I kind of just started reaching out to some local musicians and, and rappers from Melbourne and ended up picking up one of my really good friends now, um, Sean. Stack 18 from 18 to the 18 like a quarterback. Melbourne rapper Sean Thompson, or Kavinal, was the first artist Joshua will create a music video for, leading to the pair becoming common collaborators. One is like being classically trained, which I think in hip hop in particular is is not really prevalent among among videographers. And then on top of that, like he really like loves hip hop, and it's normally you get one or the other. You either get someone that you know loves hip hop but haven't been through the school and they haven't learned things, or you get people that are classically trained that are kind of just in there just to just to get a paycheck and get out. So yeah, a, a, anything I do, he'll be the one. Following his well-received music videos with Sean, Josh would start gaining more work with other artists, leading to the creation of his own music video brand, Visionaire Media. I, I kind of came up with the idea of this business and I guess the branding for Visionaire at the end of 2018. I tried to basically get my foot in the door and that's obviously when I met, met Sean. And after that, like I hadn't even released that video and I already had people approaching me and after that kind of just like, toppled over, I, I really focused on the branding and, and making sure that Visionaire was kind of associated with all of my projects and that branding stood out at the end and people kind of associated that style of video or, you know, this person's videos with, with me. A year later, just over a year later now, we've shot 10 plus music videos, plenty of branded content and hoping to just expand into more um, just different industries and see how we can kind of make it a little bit more lucrative, I guess. With Visionaire Media now becoming a recognised name in Melbourne music videos, Josh aims to continue building a name for both his brand and for emerging artists. I've never really had like a proper mission statement for my business. I guess like I just try to work with emerging artists and, and building upon people's music and making every video you, you work on different from the last one. Next time on the new 9 to 5. The way that uh, our university was teaching us was very much your stock standard industrial de design that once you graduate, you sort of end up working in a studio producing everyday goods. There's no love behind it. There's no passion. There's no you know, creative drive.